guys and welcome to the channel hot mom at home today I'll be sharing with you the completed kids room so make sure you give us a like and hit a subscribe button and let's get into the video so I had to go pick up some stuff for the kids room and I want to show you what we have so far I just ordered that blue rug um, off of rugs.com they were having a Memorial Day sale and I ordered that and I got my pad here I'm gonna put under we're gonna go with a palette of pinks and navies, I think, since the Keely and Kevin are both sharing this room. And I got them some new pillows, extra firm. And their bed should be coming soon. And their bedding's already coming. I got protectors, bed skirts, uh, mattress pads, comforters, and headboards. And all that's coming this week. Found this bookshelf actually by the dumpster at our old apartment. Um, when people come in and out and move, they usually just leave furniture by the dumpster. And I have become a big fan of, <laughs> I guess, dumpster diving. We found some amazing pieces. The beds are gonna go here and here. Mama. And this is all their, their bedding waiting to get put on. And we'll have another desk coming here. So I'll show you guys as the room comes along. Okay. Cheers to tequila and putting beds together as a couple. As a married couple. This is how we put together furniture. <laughs> Tequila. What do you guys think? Is it comfy? Um, Your yes. beds. You actually have beds. I'm gonna be here. You guys have your own beds? I'm gonna be here till we get into Yeah. Are you sleeping? So <laughs> that is not sleeping. So we are a traveling family when the global pandemic is not happening. We do enjoy travel and we have a travel channel, um, Hot Mama Travel. Um, if you like to check out those trips and get some travel inspiration, we are doing some fun little local activities if you want to check those out as well. But because we love to travel so much, we carried that travel theme throughout the house and into the kids' bedrooms. So right here we have some paintings that Keely picked out from Hobby Lobby that she likes that inspires her. Those K's were actually made by a cousin. We have some dream catchers from trips in the past. This painting here is from a local artist in Vegas. Um, they sell their work at the Silverton near the mermaid tank where the mermaids swim and we try to get a piece every time we go. And I'm so happy to finally have a place for that. And then these are these international dolls from around the world. Um, they're actually my dolls from when I was a kid. My grandpa and my mom started this collection for me when I was little. And I'm so excited now because now my daughter gets to enjoy them and she picked some of her favorite places. So this is what the other side of the room looks like. We are remote learning right now, so this is where they do their schoolwork side by side, and you can see they have their games up too, where they are currently gaming. We got Roblox and Fortnite on cue right now. And then they have their little wall of travel inspiration right above their work desk. Over her desk, um, Keely really loves wildlife and nature. And this is an artist, a photographer, that at the OC Marketplace, he sells his photography. And every time we go, she likes to pick out a piece of his work. And we've displayed them above her desk. And then above their desk, they have a little travel center. I have this little cubby that was actually brown and I painted it white and then the kids wanted to use it for all their little travel souvenirs. So we have international dolls on top. And then as you can see, we have little labels like alligator head from the Everglades, some treasures from Tombstone, Vancouver, New Orleans. And we also have our little badge from the Alamo in Texas. And the kids like to get crystals when they go on trips, especially in Idlewild. So we have an abundance candle, little Native American basket, and some of their favorite crystals. And from Scotland, we have some souvenirs. Um, I actually put the Queen Mary coins in the back because the Queen Mary was made 
in Glasgow. And that's our little Scotland guy we got from a little store when we were in Glasgow. And then those are actually Kevin's rocks. He was three when we visited and he was obsessed with collecting rocks wherever we went in Scotland. And he put them in his water bottle and carried them around the whole trip. This is from Andersonville um, in Americus, Georgia, the prisoner of war camp for the Civil War. And that's a bottle of water from the spring. You can watch all these videos on Hot Mama Travel on our channel if you'd like to, if you're curious to see what those trips were like. This is from our trip to New York, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. We went to Philadelphia, and we saw the Liberty Bell. We went to New York, saw the Statue of Liberty, Lincoln, in Washington, D.C., the White House. And then these are from our camping trips, pine cones and rocks that they've collected. We also have some shells from Mexico, and I think, yeah, this is from Florida, shark tooth and shells from Florida. And this is from Rome, and this was actually souvenirs given to them from their cousin when she went to Italy. She brought them each a souvenir. This is from Nashville. We went to a plantation, Bellmead Plantation, and we got this little dolls. And then of course, another alligator head from the Everglades. So that's their little travel wall. Sorry about the glare, guys, but over my son's desk, this is a street artist that we found in San Francisco and my son picked up this painting for above his desk as his little travel inspiration here. Um, I'm still getting, I'm looking for something to put underneath here. I want to do something because he is a, a gamer. So we want to get some kind of cute sign or thing to put there. On top of the bookshelf, we put our globe for inspiring travel. Adventure awaits. We have a fun little colonies flag that my son picked out here. Um, when we went to Philadelphia and saw Betsy Ross's house. And then that's from Annapolis in Maryland, the Naval Academy. And then that little bonnet is from Asheville, North Carolina. I actually stuck, um, that was a wig head I got from the OC Marketplace. I loved it. And the lady let me have it. And then those are bang extensions that I stuck on her just to give her a little, little warmness. And that's on top of their bookshelf. Then we just alternated, so Keely has a shelf here with some of her things she's painted and of her American Girl and Our Generation books. And then we have Kevin's shelves with some of his books and his llamas and travel. We have little travel treasures everywhere. You just find them. Then we have more of those international dolls. And then we have a combo shelf down here with some more fun things. A little baptism picture. Sorry for the glare. A little baptism. We got dolls from Tombstone. Those are petals from the largest rose tree in Tombstone. And then we go down and we have books and notebooks and fun, fun things. Over my son's bed, we have another K that was made by a cousin when he was a baby. And she made that for him. We finally get to display it. His little hand from kindergarten. This is an original piece of artwork from Meadow Griffin, the author of The Legends of Aaron. And the author came and visited the kids' school one day and she signed a bunch of books. And they actually um, entered a raffle and won a signed um, illustration. So we love that little goblin there and we're gonna go ahead and leave him on there. And then Kevin, this was a plaque given to Kevin when um, our cousin went to Ireland and she brought back his name. And then of course these are all of his travel bracelets. These are ghost beads from Utah. We have different necklaces from Mexico, um, Scotland, um, I think Jamaica, we have a whole bunch. Everywhere he goes, he likes to collect a little piece of jewelry. He's into necklaces. So that's hanging above his bed. And that's what his bed looks like.
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the kids' room. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.